Hey guys, Bill back at you again with another video. Uh, this one we're going to be doing an auto flower update and also we'll be talking about flushing due to deficiency issues. Okay, so let's just take a look at a couple of... Uh, anybody that watches my videos knows this is not where I normally do my videos, but there's a reason for that and you're going to find out here very soon. So let's just take a look at the uh, first two auto flowers of this grow um, that were super cropped, LSD, ponytailed, uh, defoliated, a um, little bit of everything done to them. Uh, they were doing really well. Um, my, that sun is some bright today. Um, but let's take a look at them now and see how they're doing. Okay guys, so here they are here. On the left we have the Northern Light Big Bud and on the right we have the Critical Mass Auto. So, and you can probably tell right now what we're going to be talking about. So, first off, if we look a little bit closer, we have some deficiency issues. Uh, quite normal, laid in flower. Uh, these guys are about five, four and a half, five weeks into flower. So uh, let's take a closer look at a couple of these leaves here. Okay, we can see the browning. Um, looks a little bit of red on this, this girl, but uh, we can see the uh, dry tips on these leaves. They're drying out. Um, also the red stems on the leaves. That's also a sign. Uh, so this I believe is a potassium issue uh, It's not getting the potassium that it needs not due to The fertilizer that I'm giving it but uh, I believe it's because lately the last week It's my own fault. I've been lazy busy. I haven't been running off my uh, feed as much as I should So it's just been kind of sitting in it and sucking it back up and what happens there is you get a sodium buildup. Um, so what happens is the sodium builds up in the soil and then it starts to lock out other nutrients. Uh, so we have, uh, I believe there's some uh, phosphorus deficiencies also, uh, possibly even some calcium deficiencies, magnesium. So pretty much it just stop wanting to take up a lot of the nutrients because there's just too much salt in the grow media so what we're going to do is i brought them outside onto my deck uh, i find that's just an easy way just to be able to run through uh, some fresh ph water and uh, just let it run through get get them salts push them all down uh, we're going to put in probably i don't know two three gallons a piece and just let it run out so, um, before we do that though, I want to take a look at some of these buds here. Because even though I have some issues, the buds are still really nice. Uh, frosting up like, like sugar, like powdered sugar. So, super nice there. So, and the Northern Light Big Bud. That early that one before was the critical mass. This is the northern light big bud. So not too bad for size. Uh, the critical mass is much fatter nugs and much far frostier. But so anyway, let's get on it. Uh, I have my first jug here filled with uh, just pH fresh water. So I'm just gonna run that through and let it run out.
Okay, so we've run through about three gallons a piece. Um, I showed you a little bit there, uh, but she's running out pretty steady. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let them set out here for probably a good 20 minutes or so. And uh, then I'll bring them back inside. Okay, so what did we learn from this? We learned don't be lazy. Uh, if you're supposed to flush your plants with runoff every day, do it. You won't regret it. Uh, it'll save you from having to do this. Um, not really that big a deal. Um, it's an easy fix. You just flush it. You go back to your regular, your regular feeding. Uh, just make sure that you take that extra five minutes. Get your vac, your wet vac out. Whatever have, whatever you have to do it, and uh, get rid of that runoff because you don't want it sitting in that runoff. So, anyway, I hope you guys learned something from this. Uh, I know I did. Um, it's not my first time doing it. I should know better. Uh, but I'm kind of glad it happened because then I could show you and show you how to uh, how to fix the issue. So, all right, guys, uh, that's it for this one. Um, we'll come back in a week or so and do another update, and we'll take a look at them then, see how that deficiency is doing. Uh, by by then, uh, it should have picked back up, and they should be fine. And then we've only got uh, uh, probably three or probably three weeks or so and we'll be harvesting these girls so all right guys thanks for watching like share subscribe leave a comment down below and uh happy growing